what are pollutants get into the water in the first place? Well, it's not entirely known in every place. Um, it really depends on the location. But the most common known sources of pollution to beaches um, would be stormwater runoff, sort of the urban slobber that runs off our city streets um, and makes its way to the ocean. Or the other common cause is from sewage overflows, either partially or untreated sewage. They might bypass it around a sewage treatment plant or a sewage um, system is simply overwhelmed and the sewage will flow to local waterways. So I know that poo is gross, but I'm a little confused about why it's so bad for us to come in contact with fecal matter. Well, if you have uh, sewage or feces in that water straight, you know, the concentration of a virus in that water can be in the millions, just in that gram of feces or in that milliliter of sewage contaminated water. Wow. So start talking about, so it's, a, it's, a, it's very concentrated and that the con concentrations of the bacteria and viruses that make people sick are very, very high in that material. Mm -hmm. So once that material gets into water, dilution typically can be the so solution. But when you're in an area that has a chronic source of that material, meaning like a, a sewage treatment plant or a stormwater flat pipe, you're basically putting as much, you're loading that, you're loading as much material into the water, you know, and in some cases more than it can handle as far as dilution. How disgusting. <laughs> yeah. What are some ways that people living near the beach can help improve water quality? Well, there's, there's a number of things they can do, and they don't necessarily have to live near the beach. Um, most people live closer to the beach than they think because all water flows downhill. And again, the number one cause, a known cause of beach pollution is stormwater runoff. So doing anything you can to reduce runoff in your community, whether it's picking up after your pet um, so that when it rains, that stuff doesn't wash down the storm drain into the beaches. Remember that the feces of animals is just as high in viruses and bacteria as human feces. So bird feces, dog feces, wildlife feces, cat, you know, feces, cows, hogs, all of those feces are containing the bacteria and viruses that, you know, that are of some concern. Not overwatering your lawn so that there's dry weather flow off our streets to our beaches. Um, you know, sweeping your sidewalks and driveways instead of hosing them down. All those things add up when you look across a community and can make a real difference.